hi everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be reviewing the new boots cucumber range so i've got the cucumber facial wash the cucumber facial scrub the cucumber clay mask and i have the moisturizing cream as well i also picked up this little mini brush it was a pound from primark so i'm going to be using this for the facial scrub um so yeah i'm just going to be telling you all about it i've been using it for like three or four weeks now so i have a pretty good idea of how it is my skin is pretty clear and it has been for about six months now um but like it hasn't made me break out my skin still feels really soft i like changing up my products every like three months anyway because i feel like once my skin gets used to it it starts breaking out and then like usually i'll still have half left so i'll just like go back to it when i run out of my next thing or like in a couple months and like use it again but this range i think everything that they do is one pound fifty each um but when i got it i got three products for three pounds so i got the scrub the mask and the moisturizing cream before and then i got the facial wash just the other day so in total i spent four pound fifty so pretty decent to me also it matches my matches not matches matches my nails so i thought what a better time to do a video um if you enjoy like comment and subscribe turn on notifications and yeah let's just get started so first off what i do is just wash my face with a flannel just a wet flannel and wash my face and then after I've done that, I just put a little bit of water on the flannel, don't rinse it out, and then dab that all over my face so that my face is wet and ready for the facial wash. So I put about like a 10 pea sized amount of this on and just rum it, rum? rub it in for about 60 seconds or so. Um, just put that everywhere and then yeah. I am, if you can see, I'm throughout this video, I'm going to be really avoiding my nose piercing as I only got it done the other day and I don't want it to get infected. But yeah, after I've done that, I just go over my face with the flannel and get off all of the facial wash. Now that I've done that, I'm going in with the facial scrub and putting some of it on that brush again putting about the same amount on and just putting that all over my face and then I'm just changing sides just because why not just wanted to use the other side as well washing off that little brush is what I'm doing here and then I'm getting the wet flannel again and just wiping off all of the product Now that I've done that, I went to go and get some cotton pads and then I'm just using some micellar water just to like cleanse all that off. So once I've done that, I'm just drying off my face with a dry cotton pad and then I am applying the clay mask. So I'm just distributing that all over my face, trying to get it as even as possible. So right now, I think that the facial wash is pretty neutral, like it could work on anybody. I think that the facial, sc facial scrub and the clay mask are very, very moisturizing and hydrating. They are also very very thick here I'm just brushing my teeth <laughs> but yeah so I think 
the facial wash could be for anyone but if you want the clay mask or the facial scrub it's probably better if you have normal to dry skin but right now i'm just taking off the mask as you can see with a cotton pad and then i'm just getting the another cotton pad filling it with water and then just wiping it off again to make sure that all of it is off something in my eye there as you could see but I like using the cotton pads instead of like rubbing the harsh flannel on my face the whole time but then I'm just putting on the moisturizing cream I think that the cream is like really good as well for anybody but if it, you were having oily skin it would probably be best to only use it at night but yeah i really like this range i'm going to tell you a bit more about it now but yeah that's it overall i think that this range would be really good for anyone with like normal to dry skin my skin was like really oily like in my prime time of puberty now i'm a bit older i think like it's calmed down a little bit like i haven't got acne or anything anymore um, and my skin just like not really not oil, oily anymore I get oily around here obviously like when I've been out all day or whatever but a lot of people get that naturally with normal skin I think this is really really moisturizing it's really really nice it's really really soft I think it's best if you only use it at night um, the facial wash you could use in the morning, but the scrub, the mask, and the moisture, the moist, what is it called? The cream, um, are all like really, really like just, just moisturizing. Like they're really wet and they act as like an overlayer. Whereas if you have oily skin like you use water based stuff or gel based stuff um so it like seeps into your skin and this is just thick 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 and i don't think it would be the best but like definitely the mask could be good if like your acne doesn't flare up from like too much moisture in your face if you get what i mean but yeah um for four pound fifty how much I paid for it and if you were buying it when it's off, not off an offer so £1.50 times four £6 <laughs> that took me way too long for £6 I would say it's a bargain for four things and then plus the Primark brush which is a pound £7 I'd give it an 8 out of 10 um, but yeah that's about it I'm going to take a thumbnail now and go to sleep because it is half 11 at night but I thought because I'm doing the full routine and I don't always use the scrub and the mask I would do it tonight. So thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications like I said earlier and I'll see you later. Bye guys.